Hey there keepers, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to do some light housekeeping before we get to our video. I just have a couple of things. Uh, first of all, did you know that I have a Facebook page? I do use my Facebook page for posting different various things that I'm thinking or that um, is lighthouse related as well as pictures and whatnot that maybe don't quite warrant a full video. So if you want to check out my Facebook page, I'll put the link in the description below and you can come and take a look, maybe follow if you want to and uh, participate in conversation if that's your thing. The second thing I was wondering is how many of you have actually watched my uh, weather video? Well, that's pretty good. That's a fair number of you. I love to hear it. Uh, so out of all of you, how many of you actually watched all the way to the end? Okay, so maybe not as many of you were able to watch all the way to the end. It was a fairly long video and uh, did offer a lot of detail. But what I would like to know is I want to hear from you. Why don't you tell me in the comment section below what your local weather is like right now. Do a snapshot of what your local weather is like and tell me in the comments below using the uh, codes and whatnot that I said in my uh, weather video. I'd love to hear what you have to say by way of weather. As you can see uh, our weather at the moment we are a little bit uh, we are overcast. I can see pretty far. My distance is about 12 miles. We have some light drizzle and at the moment we have no wind. It is calm and waters are fairly rippled. So that's what our weather is like, our local weather at this time. I'd love to hear what you have to say about your local weather. Please use the comment section below and let me know. My name is Spence and I am a modern day lighthouse keeper. So I wanted to do something a little bit different in this video uh, just because when I first started this journey, when I first started doing this, I was under the impression that I'd be going to many different stations. When I was told about relief keeping, the idea was you do two weeks here, you do two weeks here, do two weeks here. And, uh, and I've met several keepers so far who have been to 12 different stations, 16 different stations, and one guy who's actually been to 24 of the 27 stations. And so uh, I figured that as a relief keeper, I would get that experience as well. But um, not, not a bad thing. I've been assigned to two different stations and both of them have been fairly long term. And honestly, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, having a long term spot is quite nice and I'm I am hoping for a permanent uh, location at some point soon anyway but what I thought that I would do today I got some video from another keeper at Nootka light station which is on the west coast of Vancouver Island it's a, uh, a kind of a sheltered station it is in a little cove and it's quite nice it is close to um, other areas where you can actually visit the station and the station does get a lot of visitors every year people who come through the station do lots of photos lots of uh, opportunity to sort of see what a light station is actually like and I received some footage from somebody who had visited to the station uh, Joas <laughs> let, let me see if I can get this name right Joas Berg, Joas Bergorf, Berg from Joas Bergraf. Now, I may be saying that name completely wrong. Uh, this gentleman is actually from the Netherlands and he visited the Nutka station back in 2019 and shot this footage. And I thought I would share this footage with you because it's actually really amazing footage. He used a drone and, and, <clears throat> and got some really amazing footage of the of the station so that footage was forwarded to me and now i'm forwarding that to you so that you can enjoy a look at a, another station instead of just the two stations that i've been to so sit back enjoy this short clip and uh, let's take a look at what nutka station is like <music>
So like a lot of stations in BC, Nootka does have a lot of history. And Nootka is actually located on native land. And so there's a lot of uh, native stuff around the Nootka station. They have a, a native church and there's a whole bunch of carvings and other really amazing things that that you can see there. And of course, Nootka is a native word as well to sort of go with the area. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little shot of another station that's maybe not my own. And uh, if I do ever get the opportunity to see some other footage from other stations, and maybe if you have some footage of one of the BC stations, if you've been to a different station and you'd like to share your footage with me that then I can share with the viewers, then feel free to message me. You can message me on Facebook or you could use the comment section below to get a hold of me. And my email is actually in the about page on my YouTube channel. So you can get a hold of me and let me know what your footage is and we can share it with all of our other viewers and all the other people out there who like light stations as much as I do. I hope you enjoyed this little video, this little look at another station that's not necessarily my own. If you did like this video, then feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified when I upload new videos. My name is Spence and I'm a modern day lighthouse keeper. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.